Hey guys, it's Dr. Orlando with Advanced Health Partners. Uh, this is going to be a quick video to explain uh, and demonstrate how to add photos to your notes uh, when using the iPad. You can take the photo actually directly from the iPad and insert it right into your note. Uh, it's pretty slick. Um, so the first thing you have to do is um, get to the page where you want your photos to be included. And I'm going to ask and suggest that um, we use one particular page because when you insert the photo, sometimes it kind of inserts them uh, in the middle of everything else you're doing. It's kind of hard to place it exactly where you want it. Um, so it can, it can obscure uh, some of your other note if you place it, say, in the middle of your exam. So what I would do is I'd place it um, in the tab. That's the diagnosis tab, the diagnosis and the procedure tab here. I'm going to click on that. Um, and I actually labeled this area for other notes, procedures, and subnotes. Um, and this, uh, to make this happen, it's actually a subnote. So you want to click this um, button right here that says subnote. When you do that, you get a list of all the subnotes, uh, and they're categorized and alphabetized. Although there is a bug in the system right now in the iPad, you probably noticed as you scroll up, uh, it sort of starts over here. Instead of this being O and P, it says follow up. But if you actually click on it, inside of it is O and P. All right, so there's there's a labeling problem here, and Advanced MD has been contacted to try to fix that. All right, so it makes it a little bit more complicated here because this is really O and P, uh, and you know this is Q and R and S probably. Um, it's not exactly what it says, but the photo subnote I just added, so it's the very last one at this point. It says K and L, but it's not K and L. You click on it, you'll see photos, and just click the photo subnote. Um, it shows you where it wants to place it, and you really can't move it from there. You can just accept it or decline it by hitting negative or check. So if I hit the check then we get a subnote that's going to be placed right here and it's clean it doesn't overwrite um, any of this text uh, that's why I'm suggesting you know you really need to place it in this note in this tab at least for now it's in the diagnosis procedure tab all right so basically it's pretty simple now you tap to add the photo just like it says this subnote gives you the option to add four photos that's the maximum right now if you actually try to add this subnote subnote twice to try to get eight photos you'll get an error um, so for now, it's four photos. So I'm going to tap this spot to add a photo here. It's going to open up my camera. Um, actually, it's going to open up uh, an area where I can draw, I believe. Yeah. So you can actually draw something in here. But that's not our intent. So I'm going to click the camera button, which is up in the top right, in order to open the camera. The camera opens up. Um, it's using the front camera right now, at least mine is. Um, be sure that there's nothing covering the front camera. Some of our cases, I think, have a little um, tab that you have to remove. Otherwise, you'll just see um, black like you're about to. Might say you have to remove that tab for this to work. Uh, take your photo by pushing the white button there on the side. Photo's taken. At the bottom right, you'll see it says Use Photo or Retake. I'm going to click Use Photo. And then up here, I'm going to click Done. Before I do that, you actually can edit on here and draw. So if you click the pen, you can draw. If you click the, uh, the text icon and then tap anywhere on the screen, I'll tap right here. It gives you a text window. You can text in. And this part's a little tricky. It took me a while to figure out. In order to make that stick, you have to hit the this font icon again. So if I hit it again, boom, it sticks there. So you can label and draw, change the color. It looks like change the, the line width. This looks like an undo button, so I'll hit that. Yep, that allowed me to undo my last action uh, and that one. Okay, so once again, hit the font, place it somewhere, type what you need to type, hit font again. All right, when you're done with the photo, just hit done up here, and you'll see it just drops right into the note. So the photo is inside the note. That's small, obviously, but if you tap on it at any point, we can actually see the full size photo. Okay, that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, um, 